गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ट्रैवल वर्ल्ड हेल्पलाइन सो इस वक्त आप मेरे पीछे देख रहे हैं कि मैं सिंगापुर नाइट सफारी के बाहर हूँ और अभी मैं इसको एक्सप्लोर करने के लिए जा रहा हूँ इसमें एनिमल शो है फायर शो है और जिसको बच्चे बूढ़े और जवान सभी इस टूर को इंजॉय कर सकते हैं साइड सीन को देख सकते हैं आप मेरे चैनल पर नए हैं तो मेरे चैनल को सबसे पहले सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए अगर मेरी वीडियो आपको पसंद आ रही है तो उसे लाइक और शेयर कर दीजिए ताकि आने वाले टाइम में मैं ऐसी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो और बनाता रहूँ सो थैंक्स फॉर गाइज आई एम गोइंग टू इन साइड टू शो यू नाइट सफारी सिंगापुर टूर राइड फॉर नाइट सफारी और जैसे कि आप मेरे पीछे देख रहे हैं बहुत ज़्यादा हैवी क्राउडेड एरिया है Flamingos balance on one leg. It's because they spend hours in the water, and lifting one leg helps to conserve. Not see the ocean small clawed otters on the left, but you will definitely smell them. They're related to skunks and other animals that give off strong scent. All pride of Asian lions feeding. Female lions in the wild do the hunting. Then they wait impatiently for leftovers while the male eats his fill. If the pride has already eaten, they may be lounging or sleeping. This cat loves to swim and live underwater and wears a layer of fur so dense that water cannot penetrate it. This layer of fur keeps this animal warm and dry. Now do you guys hear anything coming from Midnight's ring flaps? No, right now, this is because owls have softened 
feathers on their wingtips, allowing them to glide over hills. Have very sensitive sense of hearing, right? So they have a very sensitive sense of hearing, and they will be able to detect the owls unless they are able to fly absolutely silently, which is why this is a very, very important adaptation for the owls. It helps them to hunt. And that's about all the time we have for our two beautiful owls. So how about once again, we give it up for Midnight with Touch Me, as well as Rainbow with Manugu. Gentlemen, this is Fox Trot, and Fox Trot is our Fennec Fox. Now, these foxes, they can be found in the Sahara Desert, as well as some parts of the Middle East. They're very agile animals, able to jump up to 1 meter high up into the air, as well as 1.2 meters forward. Now this agility helps them both in escaping predator and also in catching their prey. They also have large ears. Now those ears are able to grow up to 6 inches long. That's 6 inches long. Now these ears do two things for the animals. It does help them to... <laughs> now if you happen to take a look at the back of Cash's ears, you will notice black and white markings. Now these black and white markings they are known as ocelli. And ocelli act as a natural deterrent from predators sneaking up behind these animals because they look like eyes in the dark. Now, uh, Fuzzy, can we have the lights on? Uh, I think we have a slight issue. Well, this is Maggie, and Maggie is our Burmese rock python, and as the name suggests, these snakes, they can be found in Southeast Asia. Now, before we get to know our two volunteers, smooth and very dry. Okay, we're going to move on to our female volunteer. Hi, what's your name? Michaela. Michaela. Michaela, where are you from? At New Zealand. Michaela, all the way from New Zealand! Okay, you don't have to have a fuel, thank you, or anything, but have a fuel. Get that Maggie head! Okay, no, we're just kidding. I'm so scared. Okay, compared to the size of Maggie's head, how big do you think she can open up her mouth? How many times compared to her? 